Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on BeamNG for yet another drift challenge. Drifting the handling circuit at the test track. This is one I've tried a couple times and well, I've failed many a times. So why not bring you guys my fun and annoyance of this challenge. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of the description box below. <laughs> Let's do it. So drifting the handling circuit, like I said, I've tried this a few times and I failed many times. It is definitely a very interesting challenge to get 60,000 points. Best I've ever gotten is 21. So we're going to try it again. We're going to see what we can do. We gotta maintain the combo through, I think, the whole course in order for it to work. And that's not gonna do it. I feel like we have, like, something on the Moses settings that I need to adjust. I thought I had something incorrect on my settings, but it turns out I'm just really bad. <laughs> so we're gonna restart it and try it again. Because why not try this challenge? This is probably one of the hardest drift challenges I've tried so far. Start a little bit in drift already. No, speed drift. See, we already lost our drift combo, which is not what we need to do in this challenge. We might be able to still complete it, maybe. It's a very long turn. I'm gonna cheeky break that. Grass is not where I need to be. Ugh. This challenge is going to be the end of me. Every time I try and do these Beam and G challenges, I end up getting so frustrated with it. I end up like almost basically rage quitting because these are extremely difficult. And this one is wrong, wrong pedal. This one is way harder than just that mountain one. That mountain one is not as hard, I believe, as this one, because this is such a long track. And you really need to stay in angle for the whole course. Then you do things like that, where you scare yourself. And then you get really close to walls. You gotta manage the back and forth switch. Here, beam, which is not easy. Yep, we lost that. We're gonna try and finish for an out and see where we're at. Grass is not my friend. <clears throat> well, <laughs> ah, stall the car. We need to start that car back up before we start the challenge again. I forgot that I uh, implemented the. Uh, I don't have the clutch in the car stalls because you know it's the best way to do it. I start our drift. A little lighty break there. Get ourselves on the grass. The grass can sometimes help us and sometimes hurt us. This corner is one where if you go too hard, you end up oscillating the car too much, throw too much angle, and then screw up. 
hit with that one. And this one is the tricky one because you gotta get it into angle and keep it in angle. Do this long changing radius corner. And the end here is where I always get screwed up. This time. Kick it back in the drift, there we go. Keep drifting this long section and not hit the wall. The grass almost ended my challenge. I have no idea how you're supposed to get 60. No, no, no! That was our best run yet and we're nowhere even near 60. Oh, we lost it. Last little bit of the track. I don't even think we're gonna be able to get anywhere near 40 or 45. We are able to reach the destination. Get an extra 1500 for undamaged. So 42. Not even 45. That was our best effort yet. And we still failed. If you guys have done this challenge, let me know down below because this is hard. And I would try using a different car, but in order to complete the challenge, you gotta use the car it gives you, which is the basic drift car like all the other challenges. I stalled it. <laughs> I need to put a start button on my steering wheel. I need to put this as a start button. So like I said, let me know down in the comments if you guys have completed this challenge or haven't tried this challenge. You definitely need to try it. This thing is uh, definitely a uh, hard challenge. That was kind of a failed initiation. Clutch kick that out. Try, I'm gonna try utilizing left foot braking a little bit more. Oh, except when you hit the grass like that. Situations like that, where I need to pop the handbrake slightly. Let's talk about a nerve wracking challenge. is definitely nerve-wracking because it's such a long course and in order to complete it I feel like you can't lose your combo in the entire track oh that was that was good with left foot break there Utilize the grass there a little bit. We got the 45 though. Let's not get cocky. I got a long way to go. Oh, there it is. There is the final, the 60 that we needed to complete this challenge. But we're going for big numbers. 70,000, 1,500 for a clean car. 72,000 uh, finally completed the challenge of reaching 60. Oh my gosh. You guys need to try this. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all this founders coach box below. I can't believe I actually finally got it. Whew, I tried this two weeks ago and you can see my best. And now we're at 72. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys.
on the track.